October 4th on NBC and streaming on Peacock. So what are what are things in the in the first season? Oh, sorry, things going into the second season that you didn't get to do uh, going into um, well, coming from the first, like stuff that you wanted to do that you didn't get the opportunity to. Um, not not specifically anything I, I didn't get the opportunity to in the first. Uh, I I just think the uh, the main difference in the seasons is just the intention of going into season two very much knowing that we're going to get deeper into not the mythology, but the emotional investment into the characters and to the storyline that, uh, and to know that the scope of the leaps are just going to get bigger and the stakes are going to get higher. Um, And now that we've established what the show is about and how the leaps work in this world, how can we make this so that it's just, not about the formula of leaping, but how do we create a serialized through line throughout the second season? I think that is intentionally the the biggest thing that has shifted. But as far as the leaps go, um, not many things that I I, I, I didn't get to do in season one are we doing in season two. Um, And to round out if you wanna ask your last question. Uh, yeah, uh, I know we just talked about, you know, coming back from the, the first season and, and I'm, I'm happy, as, happy that the second season is existing because I don't know what I would do if Quantum Leap didn't come back on. <laughs> um, you, you've, what are, I mean, I guess like what was, now that you've kind of gotten away from trying to be better than the original series and, and officially becoming your own thing, what is, what is the expectation going forward to like put a, a stamp on this Quantum Leap? Um, I don't know that we were trying to be better (laughs) than the original series. We definitely wanted to establish ourselves as our own series. Uh, And if, you know, because the original is perfect, you know, it's, it's, it's perfect for its time, but so much has happened in 30 years with the advancement in technology and just the way people are with each other. It's a more globalized world. How can we now address some of these issues that have developed over the course of the last 30 years and how can we address them now? Uh, And I think it was was time for a new quantum leap. Um, But as far as establishing who we are moving forward, I I think we very much set the groundwork for like, hey, this is the show. This is what you can expect. This is the pace of the show. Um, And I, I love that we're starting to lean more into the action and the drama of it all. Um, And that's to put it very simply, we are going to explore some really dicey territory as far as friendships go, as far as relationships go. Um, and and I, I think that's what's very exciting about establishing a world where it's not just two characters before it was Sam and Al. And now we've got Ben, Addison, Jen, Magic, Ian, and these other guests that who are phenomenal, which I wish I could tell you who they were. Um, that are going to be now all thrown into the mix. And we're all, it's going to be a very messy, but beautiful situation that we're going to see ourselves in in season two, emotionally. 